Hey guys, C Dub here, and this is another episode of Anime Talk. And today I want to talk about the best female anime character. And in my opinion, the best one is Saris Victoria from Helsing. And I'm gonna tell you why. So growing up, I didn't have a lot of female strong anime characters. There was Bulma from DBZ, and there was some girls from Yu Yu Hakusho. They're even hard to remember their names. I think it was Yukina and Bulma. Go something, something, something like that. I forgot her name. But they're they're pretty much irrelevant or in the background. They don't really fight. They don't really do anything. So I didn't have a lot of strong female characters that were in anime when I was growing up, and that changed when I got back into anime. And there's a couple of other strong female characters that had a battle, honestly, for that top spot. There's Revy from Black Lagoon, but I honestly like the maid Robo Roberta. Roberta? Roberta? Yeah, like her way better than Revy. Well, not way better. It was actually pretty close. Um, I like Roberta. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Oh, well, I'm fucking up that pronunciation. But Roberta, Roberta, whatever. The maid from Black Lagoon, that's what I'm gonna call her. I don't know why I can't say that. The maid from Black Lagoon, to me, is definitely number two in that spot. Then Revy, then Ryo Ryoko Matoi from Kill la Kill. And those female characters were battling for the top spot. And I had to give it to Sarah's Victoria. And Sarah's Victoria, to me, is the best because she's very much adaptable. She gives you this badass character. She gives you the sexy type of character. God, anyone who cosplays as Sarah's Victoria is honestly already attractive. But anyway, that's another thing. Kind of. But yeah, badass, sexy, and she's not bitchy. You know what I mean? Like, she's not like just, just, just this bitchy type of character. She's kind of um, relatable. You can talk to her. She seems like someone you can honestly just talk to. And that's not a lot of characters, a lot of female anime characters. Sometimes, you know, they don't want to be bothered with you. Some of them are bitchy. Some of them just kind of don't have the great personality. And some of them are just so goo goo ga, -ga over one person. I never got that from Sarah's Victoria. Even with Alucard, I never felt like she was goo goo ga, -ga over him. She was loyal to him because he saved her life. But that's another thing I like about it, too, is that loyalty and stuff. Being strong as well. It's just something that you get earlier on in the episode. It doesn't take a long time for that to develop. Now, I know they have two different Hellsings, the Hellsing and the Hellsing Ultimate, and they're slightly different, but for the most part, they stay true to that character. And in Hellsing Ultimate, you really get it quickly, especially, I think, in episode two, where she's pretty much going through this bloodgasm. That's what I'm calling it. That's what I think it is. It's just damn a bloodgasm rage. So you know she can get pretty down, right, fucked up, and fuck some people up. And that's another thing I like about her. She's not soft at all. Like, she can seem soft, but she's not. She's really not a soft character, which is something else that just adds more to her character dynamic. She's very adaptable, and there's a lot of people who can look up to her for different reasons, which you can't say about a lot of different ones. She's also not bitchy, like... Satsuki from Kill a Kill, that's a good example of someone who's bitchy. She doesn't come across like that. She's strong without being this bitchy type of character, which is very rare to get. And also, like I said, the loyalty to me is just the biggest thing with her. Honestly, she's very, very protective and loyal to those that she's been around. And that does apply to some other characters. But like I said, some of them aren't as strong as she is they don't have this strong type of personality or this strong type of character the kind some of them are in the background some of them just talk about friendship and this that and the other but they really don't do anything for the story and to be honest Sarah's victoria she goes through a lot she's gone through well if you've seen the history of helsing um ultimate then you know you know how much shit she's gone through so she went through that and still to come out strong even after dying well about to die and then turning into a vampire this that and the other that's a big lifestyle change and she takes it pretty well as well as someone in that situation could take it so i honestly relate to her the most because honestly she's just that good <laughs> she's just that good to me and honestly the best one i've seen i know i said honestly a lot but that's just what I get from says Victoria is honesty and loyalty. Those two are the, her biggest traits. And also, of course, the badass and sexy. That doesn't hurt either. And that's why says Victoria to me is the best female anime character.
That's all I want to talk about. That's just my opinion. She will have that top spot. I don't think anybody's going to take it from her, but you never know. Also, like I said, I like Roberta and Revy and all the other ones. I might do videos about them as well. But for now, I want to focus on the best one, which is Sarah's Victoria. And that is why she is the best. And that's it. C-Dub out.